Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, Dr. Matt and Dr. Mike and Ninja Nerd must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. Welcome everybody to challenge number two of the Great Med Ed Challenge. I'm Dr. Mike from Dr. Matt and Dr. Mike's medical YouTube channel and I'm battling against Zach Murphy from Ninja Nerd. Today I'm at Chalkbox at Wellington Point in Queensland, Australia. Doing the challenge, what I have to do today is back squat at 225 pounds, which is 100 kilos. I have to do it as many times as possible while reciting the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Wish me luck, let's go. Woo! All right, lightweight baby. Renin is stimulated to be released from the afferent arterial and the juxtacle marrow cells by a drop in blood pressure. Renin is also stimulated to be released by the sympathetic nervous system binding to beta-1 receptors at the juxtacle marrow cells. It's also stimulated to be released when there's a drop in sodium in the distal convoluted tubule. Once renin is released, it's a protease and it will oh, go into the bloodstream. It will go to angiotensinogen, which is released by the liver, oh, producing angiotensin 1, which does sweet FA. Oh, angiotensin 1 oh, comes across ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme, which turns angiotensin 1 into oh, angiotensin 2 which has all the effects, including, it's a generalized vasoconstrictor. In addition to that, it goes to the adrenal glands to stimulate the release of aldosterone, which reabsorbs sodium. It goes to the hypothalamus to stimulate the release of ADH. And I'm done. What's up, Ninja Nerds? In this video today, we're going to be doing squats with 225 pounds, which is about just a little over 100 kilos. Mike beat me last time, there's no doubt about it. I'm going to try my best to win this one. Here we go. All right. Low blood pressure should trigger the juxtaglomerular cells to release renin. Renin will then convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 will then go to the lungs where angiotensin converting enzyme will convert it into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 will then cause systemic vasoconstriction which will increase blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 will also trigger ADH release from the posterior pituitary which will trigger water reabsorption across the collecting duct, which will increase blood volume and blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 will also trigger aldosterone release from the zona to marulosa. Aldosterone will then go to the distal convoluted tubule, where it will reabsorb sodium and water. This will increase blood volume and increase blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 <laughs> also will cause efferent arterial vasoconstriction. This will increase the GFR. All these mechanisms will work. <clears throat> To increase your more and increase blood pressure. Oh, that is it's the best I could do, Zach. I think you win this one. 